Wyomingites remember country singer Toby Keith, who died Monday. Wyoming's U.S. senators reject a $118 billion immigration bill that would allocate funding to international war and humanitarian causes. And two Park County car dealerships are dropping the Buick brand altogether rather than sell electric vehicles. We'll take a look at these stories and more today from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. Wyomingites are remembering country music superstar Toby Keith, who died Monday. Country singer and Moorcroft native Chancey Williams told Cowboy State Daily's Renee Jean he'll never forget the time he got to sing Shoulda Been a Cowboy with Keith at Cheyenne Frontier Days. What you say? I should have been a cowboy. Chancey happens to say, you know, I've been practicing Shoulda Been a Cowboy all my life. I'd love to sing it with you someday. And Toby Keith didn't bat an eye, didn't think twice about it and said, be there tomorrow. And tomorrow, Chauncey's up on the stage with Toby Keith singing that song for Cheyenne Frontier Days. And that's the kind of superstar that Toby Keith was. Williams was among the many Wyoming fans paying tribute to Toby Keith in reaction to the superstar's death Monday after a bout with stomach cancer. Wyoming's U.S. Senators say they're not voting for the controversial $118 billion immigration bill that would allocate most of its funding to international war and humanitarian causes rather than border security. Senators Barrasso and Lummis on Tuesday said they were adamantly against the bill that could allow 5,000 illegal migrants per day in the U.S. and would funnel billions into Ukraine, Gaza, and other war zones. Senator John Barrasso, Wyoming's senior delegate to the Senate, said the bill does not meet most American standards of securing our border now. Senator Cynthia Lummis said Biden could take action even without the bill by closing the border, building the wall, and reinstating the Trump-era remain-in-Mexico policy. A number of Wyoming auto dealers are protesting the Go Green initiative of the Biden administration. In fact, two Buick dealerships in Park County have jumped ship rather than sell electric vehicles, according to Cowboy State Daily's Pat Mayo. They don't want the either or offer that's been made to them, either sell an EV or, you know, you have to go, I guess. Denny Menholt Chevrolet GMC General Manager Burt Miller told Cowboy State Daily that if Buick had kept a strong mixture of internal combustion engines and EVs, they would have kept the franchise. But General Motors has announced it's transitioning Buick to an all-electric brand by 2030, and the dealerships argue that there just isn't enough EV demand in Wyoming. I'll be back with more news right after this. Do you know it's illegal to dig or excavate without knowing what's below? This is Jan Warren, Executive Director for One Call of Wyoming. We will be hosting workshops around the state to educate homeowners, realtors, landscapers, underground facility owners, and excavators on the state law, industry best practices, practices when it comes to planting a tree, building a fence, or any other excavation project you have planned. Join us for a free breakfast, get your questions answered, and learn how One Call of Wyoming is here to help. Go to onecallofwyoming.com and register today. Well, if after 11 years you don't succeed, try, try again. That's the approach State Senator Kale Case of Lander is taking with Medicaid expansion in Wyoming. On Monday, Case confirmed to Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson that he's planning to resurrect an effort to expand Medicaid by adding an amendment to the upcoming 2025-26 biennial budget. Case thinks that there's still support out there, and he thinks that the majority of the legislators support it. He blames uh, people on the far right for raising vocal opposition to Medicaid expansion and uh, speaking uh, against it when he believes that the, re- the majority of Wyoming residents actually support it. Representative John Bear of Gillette has been a vocal opponent of Medicaid expansion in recent years and said he opposes Case's newest effort, calling it antithetical to true conservatism. And ever since a 500-year flood wiped out parts of Yellowstone National Park, including its north entrance road along the Gardner River, visitors have relied on an old stagecoach road. But Cowboy State Daily's Andrew Rossi says a more permanent solution is in the works. The National Park Service and the Federal Highways Administration, along with several contractors and intense months of work, ensured that there was a lifeline between Gardner, Montana and Mammoth Hot Springs and Yellowstone National Park building that road in just a few months, which is an engineering marvel. But the design life of the road, according to the NPS, is only five to 10 years. So they're having these public input sessions to ask people what they think the permanent solution should be. And that's today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.